Hey, it's Buddy Lee. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing the long overdue Tiger Guide. As many of you probably know, Tiger is my favorite champion in the game. She has one of the highest damage outputs in the game, and she can handle so many different things throughout. The only real drawback to playing Tiger is that she has a high skill cap, or you could say a high practice cap, in order to master her playstyle. I wish I could tell you that after watching this video you'll be a master at playing Tigra, but I'm really just trying to give a good foundation for you to sharpen your claws. See what I did there? Since each defender requires a slightly different approach, it really just takes practice and you have to get a feel for playing her, but once you do she's such a fun, satisfying, and powerful character to play that it's worth it. I'm going to start things off by just doing a quick overview of the basics of how to play Tigra. She has two different senses that are extremely important for Tigra's damage output and power gain. The orange icon is called Primal Sense and gives her huge bursts of direct damage when applying ruptures. The blue icon is called Huntress Sense and gives her 10% of a bar of power every rupture and every time Tigra causes an attack to miss. You start the fight with both senses active for 3 to 12 seconds depending on signature level if Tiger is awakened. Otherwise you can activate them for 14 seconds by throwing two SB1s or throwing an SP3. So Tiger still has access to all her abilities even on awakened but you have to do a little bit of ramp up. All of Tiger's attacks apply a passive neutralized debuff lasting 2.5 seconds. This neutralize prevents all the defender's buffs and pauses the timer for her senses. Tigra's playstyle is very centered around doing heavy attacks. She can charge her heavy to cause projectile hits on special attacks to miss. She also applies her rupture debuffs by using her heavy to interrupt the defender's attacks. You want to use her heavy to cause miss and counter attacks as much as possible to stack ruptures and gain power. Tiger's special attacks are unblockable if you throw them from a distance, so normally you will want to dash back and immediately throw your special. This creates easy access to land your special, as well as doing extra damage because the unblockable hits will do an extra rupture debuff. The goal is, with your senses active, stack as many ruptures as you can on your way to her special 2 and throw the special 2 after dashing back and you win the game. With that out of the way, let's jump into some gameplay. This first fight against Winter Soldier is just to demonstrate how to activate her senses through SV1 and her normal strategy when fighting with Tiger. My Tiger is awakened, so she starts with both senses, but I let them fall off so I can show how to do this. You can see I'm using heavy to miss the projectile attacks, as well as countering everything with heavy attacks to build the ruptures. Now that Primal Sense is active, it's also doing a burst of direct damage every time I place a rupture. Now that Huntress Sense is also active, she'll be gaining 10% of bar of power every time she places a rupture or misses the projectile. All that's left now is to get my special 2, dash back to make it unblockable, and watch that beautiful damage. That was about 175k special 2. Since it's mostly from direct damage, you don't have to depend on critical hits. She finishes the fight in 64 hits, even when playing her as if she was unawakened and doing the special one ramp up to activate the senses. If you're not using Liquid Courage and Double Edge Masteries, then this is the preferred method. If you do use them like me, then do the special 3 to activate both senses if your tiger is not awakened. It takes slightly longer, but you avoid recoil damage. Now that we have our basic playstyle out of the way, I want to talk about spacing. Since you're always looking to counter with heavies using Tigra, there are different techniques that can be utilized to put you in the proper range to heavy counter. I mentioned earlier it's important to have a good feel for playing Tigra, which comes with practice. This is where that comes into play. Winter Soldier is actually a great place to practice your spacing, since depending on your distance when he throws a special one, there are three different methods you can use to get into proper spacing. Here I'm close enough when he throws his special, I just need to dash back and hold heavy to counter. Now my special two has created distance when he throws his special. 
Here I can dash back and throw two light attacks to acquire the right distance to punish his special. And if you feel you're not quite close enough, you can throw one light attack like this to snuggle up a little closer. All of this comes with practice, and there's no better punching bag in the game to practice on than Winter Soldier. There are other ways to counter different types of specials, such as the ability to dash into the opponent before the projectile attack is thrown. This is generally the easiest to counter. This will work for other specials such as Dr. Voodoo or Joe Fixit Special 1 or Odin Special 2 and many others. There are other unique counters such as Silver Centurion that I did a recent video on, but the last type I'll look at here is the Instant Projectile. This is one of the most common questions I get about Tigra is how to miss these without leaving yourself open if they don't throw the special. I did a baiting specials video a while back that shows one method, but I figured out a different way that's much safer. Once I have Captain Marvel against the wall and knock her down, I will just stand in front of her leaving an opening, then I will hold block and when she throws her special, switch from blocking to heavy. Here I'm too far away when she throws her special, so I have to dex it. And this time I pull off another good block to heavy transition. Now I'm going to focus a little bit on Tiger's neutralize ability. While fighting Juggernaut, he will not be able to activate his fury buffs or unstoppable as long as the passive neutralize is on him. Anytime one of these fails to activate, it will apply another Rupture debuff, increasing Tigra's damage and power gain even more. You can really tell when he tries to activate them during Tigra's special too. That last special two did over 200,000 damage. Now let's take a look at some of the nodes that Tiger counters and the ways Tiger uses her utility. It's a very long list so you might want to pause to get a good look. Her neutralize is unique and with the way the anti-nullified nodes have been coming into play it's really valuable. Her very high debuff count also counters any kind of regeneration with willpower. So if someone tells you Tiger doesn't have utility you can show them this list. Here's an example of her dealing with a Thing fight on Footloose node. Here's another Alliance War fight with Strike Counter Combat Power Rate against Medusa. Her Huntress Sense allows her to continue to gain power and Medusa never gets a Fury buff.
This Alliance War fight is against Hyperion on a power from afar node. It shuts down his power gain as well as the power from afar and she gets an extra rupture every time she leaves striking distance. The last fight I will show will be from Act 6.4.6 .6 against Rage and Life Cycle. She can get around the Rage damage cap with her direct damage and will be constantly knocking down the defender taking care of Life Cycle. When making Cable Special 1 miss, you are too far away to comfortably heavy counter. It has enough hits though to push you over a bar of power and you can go from heavy charging to throwing your SP1. I hope this video will help you with learning how to effectively play Tigra. I'm sure there is much more that I've missed, but playing Tigra there's always more nuance to come across. This is one of the reasons she's my favorite champ in MCOC. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.